All right, solving quadratic equations with the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is definitely the easiest way to solve quadratic equations. It doesn't always give you the best answer, and it's not really uh, that useful for endeavors beyond just finding the solutions, but, you know, there's something to be said for being able to solve quadratic equations, so it's definitely useful. Um, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and write out the formula first and then sort of explain how you use it. So uh, here we go. It begins with x equals and um, uh, what, what it means here is just x, your variable. This is what it has to equal in order to be a solution to the uh, whatever quadratic equation you may have. So here it is. x equals negative b. Okay, and I'm being very careful with my colors here. All right, negative b, plus or minus, I'll explain that in a second. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, so b times b, minus, um, let's see, we can use a separate color, 4, okay, and then, uh, let's see, let's use blue. 4 times a, okay, times c. And I will explain what a, b, and c are in a second. Okay, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2 times, um, I think it was a. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is the quadratic formula. Pretty neat, huh? Um, but as you can see, we have this a, b, and c. So you're wondering, what are those all about? Well, allow me to explain. The general form of a quadratic equation, which means uh, you can make any quadratic equation into this form, is uh, a uh, times x squared plus b times x plus c, okay, and that equals 0. All right, this is the general form of a quadratic equation. You can take any quadratic equation and make it into this kind of form. Uh, this is even true if in such cases when you wouldn't have this middle x, okay? That would just mean b would be 0. Okay, so a, b, and c are sort of just the coefficients of the different elements in a in a quadratic equation. So now you see how what what a, b, and c mean in the quadratic formula. So basically, the solution to this quadratic equation, a x squared plus b x plus c, is uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. Okay, and so that's it. You take any quadratic equation, you write it in this form, you figure out what a is, you figure out what b is, and you figure out what c is, you plug that into your formula, and you get a solution. Actually, you probably get two solutions. That's what this plus or minus is about. That just means that um, one solution is negative b plus the square root of yada da, and the other solution is negative b minus the square root of yada da. Obviously, if the square root of yada da is uh, 0, then adding or taking away 0 uh, are the same, so that would be a case when you only have one solution, but that's really no big deal. You'll kind of just find that. You don't really need to memorize it or anything. You probably should memorize the quadratic formula. Okay, It's very useful, and um, it's just one of the things that you should memorize. If you're having trouble memorizing it, I will tell you how I learned. It is a little bit silly, but uh, here it goes. All you do is think about it as a song, and the tune is uh, Pop Goes the Weasel. So here we go. <clears throat> x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So there you go. That's how I learned the quadratic formula, and you know, every now and then I'll still remember that song, and that's how you can uh, remember it. So let's do an example. Enough, enough singing. Let's go ahead and do an actual example. Alright, so um, what should we do? 
I'm just gonna make these numbers up because uh, it doesn't really matter. 5x squared uh, minus 10x. Oh, let's even make it a little bit tricky. Equals 2x plus x squared. Okay, um, let's see. Gonna want. Uh, we can just do like. Uh, plus a 3 or something. Okay, there we go. This is our quadratic equation. Now, as you can see, it's not in this form. We don't have an ax squared and bx and c, and it doesn't equal 0, so we need to do a little bit of algebra. It's not that hard. So let's see. Let's move the... Let's move everything to the left-hand side so it matches this. So I'm going to subtract this x squared. 4x squared. I'm going to subtract the 2x. I hope you kind of understand what I'm doing. This is sort of just basic algebra, but all we're doing is subtracting x squared from both sides, so this x squared goes away, and this 5x squared goes down to 4x squared. Then we subtract 2x from both sides, and that makes this uh, this 2x go away, and this uh, negative 10x into negative 12x, and then we'll subtract 3, so we have minus 3 equals 0. Okay, there we go. Now we have it in the right form. Um, so let's go ahead and write down what our coefficients are. A is 4. As you can see, it's the number in front of the x squared. Okay, let's see. B is green. B is negative 12. Okay, and finally, oh, this is C is negative 3. All right, so those are our... Um, variables all we need to do is plug those into the formula and so let's give that a try all right we'll use a different color so the solutions to 4x squared minus 12x minus 3 are given by x equals all right negative b that's negative 12 so that'll be a positive 12 plus or minus the square root b squared, okay, that's, well, I'll just go ahead and write it out, and then we'll simplify afterward. Negative 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 3, okay, 4ac, all over 2a, so that's 2 times 4. Okay, now, you see what I meant about not giving you the prettiest answers, but occasionally we can simplify this occasionally it looks nice but you know what I don't think this is one of those times but we'll give it a try anyway 12 plus or minus the square root okay we're gonna have 144 that's negative 12 squared minus alright I'm gonna do some mental multiplication here we have 4 times 4 well we okay we have a negative 4 times 4 that's gonna be negative 16 Okay, negative 16 and then times negative 3. Oh, geez. Is that... I think that's 48. Is that right? No, 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 no. I don't think it is. No, I think it is. Yeah, it's 48. Whew. Okay, and that's a positive 48. All right, all that over 2 times 4. That's 8. All right, you get the idea. You can probably simplify a little bit further, but I don't think the square root gets much nicer, but... In any case, that's use, that's the quadratic formula. You can do this with any quadratic equation, and it'll give you your solutions. So I guess if we really want to be explicit about this, we can write our solutions out. We have one solution, and I'll do this in yellow so it matches. One solution is 12 plus the square root of, let's see, 144 plus 48. Oh, geez, that's going to be 192. I hope that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. 192 over 8. Okay. Or x is 12 minus the square root of 192 all over 8. Okay, there you go. That's your answer. And that's what using the quadratic formula looks like. All you need to do is get your equation to suit the general form and then just remember the quadratic equation or the quadratic formula, excuse me, uh, plug all your coefficients in, and do what you can to simplify, but it's not always pretty.
but um, at least you have an answer. So you could plug this into a calculator if you'd want and get a decimal answer. But um, that's it. That's using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Thank you for watching.